Hey everyone, it's HG, and let's be real, managing your money can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded, right? But the truth is, taking control of your finances is the key to unlocking a future where you have options. Options to pursue your passions, achieve your goals, and live life on your own terms. The good news is, you don't need to be a Wall Street whiz to make a difference. Even small, consistent changes can have a massive impact on your financial well-being over time. It's all about taking those first steps and building momentum. In this video, I'm breaking down seven simple tips to manage your money better. No complex jargon, no unrealistic expectations, just straightforward advice that you can start using today. So, if you're ready to take charge of your financial future, let's dive right in. All right, let's kick things off with the foundation of good money management, creating a budget. Now I know what you're thinking budgeting, sounds about as fun as a root canal. But trust me on this, a budget isn't about restricting yourself, it's about understanding where your money is going and making it work harder for you. Think of it like this, your income is your team of all-star players, and your expenses are the game plan. A budget helps you coach that team to victory by allocating your hard-earned cash to the things that matter most. So, how do you create a budget that actually works? It's simpler than you think. Start by tracking your income, your salary, any side hustles, anything you're bringing in. Then, list out all your expenses from rent and groceries to those daily coffees and subscription services. Once you have a clear picture of your cash flow, it's time to prioritize. Identify your needs versus your wants. Needs are the essentials, housing, food, transportation, wants are the nice-to-haves, that new gadget, eating out every night. Now here's the key, allocate your income towards your needs first, then your savings goals, and finally, whatever's left can go towards those wants. This simple shift in mindset can make a world of difference in helping you achieve your financial goals. Remember, a budget isn't about deprivation, it's about making conscious choices with your money. So, find a budgeting method that works for you, whether it's an app, a spreadsheet, or the good old-fashioned pen and paper. The important thing is to track your spending, adjust as needed, and stay consistent. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Now that you've got your budget in tip-top shape, let's talk about automating your savings. This is one of the most powerful money management tips I can give you, and it's surprisingly easy to implement. Think of it like this. How often do you get paid? Weekly? Bi-weekly? Monthly? Now, imagine if a portion of that paycheck, even a small one, was automatically redirected to your savings account before you even had a chance to spend it. That's the beauty of automation. Here's how it works. You set up a recurring transfer from your checking account to your savings account. You can choose the amount and frequency that aligns with your budget and financial goals. Once it's set up, it's like clockwork. Money magically appears in your savings without you having to lift a finger. The best part? Automating your savings removes the temptation to spend that money elsewhere. It's like paying yourself first before you even have a chance to consider those impulse purchases or unnecessary expenses. And don't underestimate the power of small, consistent contributions. Over time, those small amounts add up to significant savings. It's like the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. The same goes for saving. So if you're serious about building wealth and achieving your financial goals, start automating your savings today. It's one of the easiest and most effective money management tips you can implement. We all have those little spending leaks in our budget, those seemingly insignificant expenses that add up quickly. I'm not here to tell you to give up your daily coffee fix. Instead, let's identify and cut back on unnecessary expenses. The first step is awareness. Track your spending for a month. Use a budgeting app, spreadsheet, or notebook. Get a clear picture of where your money is going. Identify areas where you might be overspending. Challenge yourself to cut back on those unnecessary expenses. Small changes add up. Free up money to pay down debt, invest, or gain peace of mind. All right, let's talk about the power of setting clear financial goals. Because let's face it, wandering through life without a financial destination is like setting sail without a map or a compass. You might end up somewhere, but it probably won't be where you want to be. Setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart financial goals gives you direction and motivation. It provides a roadmap for your financial journey and helps you stay focused on what matters most. So, what are your financial aspirations? Do you dream of buying your dream home, retiring early and traveling the world, paying off your student loans and becoming debt-free? Whatever your goals may be, write them down and break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. For example, 
Let's say your goal is to save $10,000 for a down payment on a house in the next two years. That might seem like a daunting amount, but when you break it down, it comes out to just over $400 per month. Suddenly it feels much more achievable, right? Here's a pro tip. Make your financial goals visible. Write them down on a whiteboard, create a vision board, or set reminders on your phone. The more you see your goals, the more likely you are to stay motivated and on track. Remember, setting clear financial goals is the first step towards achieving financial freedom. So, take some time to reflect on your aspirations, write them down and start taking action today. Now, let's talk about investing. I know, I know, the word investing can sometimes feel intimidating, especially if you're new to the game. But, here's the thing, investing is one of the most powerful tools you have for building wealth over time, and it doesn't have to be complicated. You see, the wealthy understand that money isn't meant to just sit in a savings account. They know that to truly grow their wealth, they need to put their money to work for them. And one of the best ways to do that is through smart investing. Now, I'm not talking about risky day trading or trying to time the market. I'm talking about taking a long-term approach to investing, focusing on diversification and low-cost index funds. Index funds are like baskets of stocks that track a specific market index, like the S&P 500. They offer instant diversification and are a great option for beginners because they require minimal research and have lower fees compared to actively managed funds. The key is to start early and stay consistent. Even if you can only invest a small amount each month, the power of compound interest will work its magic over time. Compound interest is like earning interest on your interest and it's one of the most powerful forces in finance. So, don't be intimidated by investing. Start small, do your research and consider investing in low-cost index funds. Your future self will thank you. Life is full of surprises and unfortunately, not all of them are good. That's why having a solid emergency fund is crucial for weathering those unexpected storms without derailing your financial progress. Think of your emergency fund as your financial safety net. It's there to cover those unexpected expenses that life throws your way like a medical bill, a car repair, or even a job loss. Having this financial cushion can mean the difference between handling these situations with relative ease or going into debt and jeopardizing your financial future. So, how much should you save in your emergency fund? A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of living expenses set aside. This may seem like a lot, but remember, you don't have to build it overnight. Start small and gradually increase your savings over time. Here's a tip treat your emergency fund like any other bill. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your emergency fund each month. This will help you build your savings consistently and avoid the temptation to spend that money elsewhere. Remember, an emergency fund isn't about predicting the future. It's about being prepared for the unexpected. So start building yours today and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing you're financially secure. We've covered a lot of ground today, from creating a budget to investing like the pros. But here's the thing about personal finance. It's a journey, not a destination. The more you learn about managing your money, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions and achieve your financial goals. Think of it like this. Your financial knowledge is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. So, make it a habit to continuously educate yourself about personal finance. There are countless resources available to you, from books and podcasts to blogs and YouTube channels like this one. Find what resonates with you and make it a part of your routine to stay up to date on the latest financial trends and strategies. Don't be afraid to ask questions and seek guidance from reputable financial advisors. Remember, there's no shame in asking for help especially when it comes to something as important as your financial well-being. The more you learn about managing your money, the more confident and empowered you'll become in making financial decisions that align with your values and goals. So there you have it, seven simple yet powerful tips to manage your money better. Remember, financial success isn't about luck or being born into wealth. It's about making conscious choices and taking control of your financial future. Don't wait for the perfect time to start managing your money. The best time is now. Pick one tip from this video and commit to implementing it today. Then gradually incorporate the others into your routine. I'm curious to hear from you. What are your go-to money management tips? Share your thoughts and any questions you have in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal finance, real estate, and entrepreneurship. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching.